Hello and welcome to SAS Junior Maths. Today, we are going to be looking at some questions on straight lines and angles. So let's dive in straight. Now the question says, find the unknown angles below. And let's look at this diagram. As you can see, we have 120 degrees here, we have 100 degrees here, and we are told to find the value of Z. Now, by looking at this question, it may not be, it may not, the solution to the question may not uh, be direct like that. Sometimes in mathematics, some um, answers to questions may be hidden unless you unravel and you um, show it out here. So the first thing you have to do is to redraw this diagram. Let's redraw it. We have um, 100 degrees and we have um, 120 degrees. And this is our Z. So the first thing you have to do is to draw an imaginary line that cuts across, passing through this sharp point here, a cut across, so that the, the imaginary line will split this angle into two parts. So I can call, you know, initially Z, so I can name this to be my A and this to be my B. So once I draw an imaginary line across it, then it begins to make sense to me. So from here, I can see that I, I can um, I can see that there is, a, there is a solution to this. So what I'm going to do now in this video is that I'm going to show us like um, two methods or two ways at which we can do this. Though there are other ways, but we will just uh, limit to two ways at which we can solve questions like this. So the first way is this. So let's say this is A, B, and this is our C, and this is our D. Then let's name this X and Y. So the first thing we are going to do is let us observe what can we do when we find ourselves in this situation. Immediately, the, the angles we've treated so far should start popping in into your mind. So the one that comes into my mind now is the fact that I can see a hundred, I can see angle B, here lying on where on a transversal so anytime you see something like this that looks like letter c and there's an angle enclosed here then the addition of these two angles are said to be supplementary that is the addition of these two angles equals 180. so once i see something like this then what comes into my mind will be what interior angles on a transversal so i will say a b this so, you know, in, 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 in this letter Z that we have split it into two parts, so I will still retain this letter Z here. So I can say this is ABZ plus, now we are done with that of 100 degrees. Now I want to move to that of letter B. Then I can say this is XZB. I can say this is XZB equals 180 degrees. Reason, interior angles on a transversal. So what is my ABZ? My ABZ is 100 degrees plus my XZB. My XZB is here because let's not forget that when you are naming angles, the middle angle should be at the center. The letter where the angle is should be at the center. So XZ, this Z is the one at the center, though we split it into two parts, but the Z is the main one letter at the center. So it's going to be XZB, so which means we're focusing on this letter B equals 180 degrees. So to make B stand alone, I will say B equals 180 degrees. This is carrying a positive sign. And once it passes through the equality sign, it becomes negative. So my answer is 80 degrees. So I can say my answer here is 80 degrees. So let's do the, um, the other side. Now, as you can see, that this is 120 degrees, and this is letter A. As you can see, that they both lie on where? On the transversal. This is the line that it lies. And if you observe, it will always give us something like a letter C. But it is not letter C, but it's something like it's enclosed on, on both sides. So this is 120 degrees, and this is letter A. So it means that what we are dealing with interior angles on A, transversal. Now when you see two angles that are interior, that is inside, on a transversal line, which is this line, then the addition of these two 
angles gives us 180 degrees. So from here, I can as well, so let's start with the naming of the angles. So this is letter C, D, I can say, I can say this is um, um, C, D, Z, C, D, Z, because this is it from here to here. And let's not forget that this represents our Z angle. From this C, D, Z plus, and let's look at this one, this angle A. So I can say this is X, Z, D, X, Z, D equals 180 degrees. Reason? Interior angles on a transversal. So my CDZ is 120 degrees plus my XZD is uh, A because this is where it is moving. And so this is the main area at which you want to look for. Then this is 180 degrees. So automatically, I will say this my A to make A stand alone, to make A stand alone rather, I will say A equals 180 degrees. This is kind of positive 120. Once it crosses the equality sign or passes through the equality sign, it becomes negative. So my A equals 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees. Now the question now says, what is the value of Z? So Z equals A plus B. Let's not forget that Z happens to be the the main letter here or the main angle. In order for us to find the solution to this, that's why I had to work to split it by drawing an imaginary line in between. So my Z now is A. What is my A? My A is 60 degrees plus my B. What is my B? 80 degrees and we have 140 degrees. So 140 degree is the answer to Z. That is the first um, method. So, so let's look at the second method. So how do we solve? So let's look at the second method. So this method two. Now, the another way at which you can do this is I can as well extend this to the other part and I can also as well extend this to the other side too. So let's give it a name. Let's say this is A, B. Let's say, let's say this is Q and let's say this is R. Let's just give it a letter like that. Let's say this is R and that is Q. So now, from the look of things, I have extended the line across. So this is as this as what this has shown that it is a straight line. Now, since it is a straight line, I can say uh, this is hundred and this is an angle of which you don't know what that angle is. So I can say hundred plus let's give this um, p hundred plus p equals one hundred eighty degrees. Reason angles on a straight line. So it's going to be what? P equals 180 degrees minus 100 degrees. Then my P equals 80 degrees. So now that my P equals 80 degrees, then I can say that my B, let's not forget that I've, you know, we have given an imaginary line here before. So it still remains intact like that. So we'll continue from there. So now my P is, is 80 degrees. Now I know that this has formed what is called an alternate angle. So if my P is 80 degrees, I will say B equals 80 degrees. Reason? Alternate angles. So my B equals 80 degrees. Now, same thing goes to the first one. So the first one is going to be what? 120 degrees plus, let's give this one S plus S equals 180 degrees. Reason, angles on a straight line. So we have 120 degrees plus, what is my S, okay? So let's just do it right away. So to make S stand alone, I'll say S equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, and my S equals what? 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees here now. Now, I can as well see that what? 
that A is alternate. Alternate A means opposite. So it is alternate. Then A equals 60 degrees. Reason, alternate angles. And I'll put my A here, which is 60 degrees. Then I will end up saying that Z equals A plus B because I've, I've given, I've splitted it to two different parts. So my A equals what? 60 degrees plus my B, 80 degrees. And that is what? 140 degrees. And that is also your answer. So that ends this um, question. Now let's look at this question. This question also is asking us to find angle F. So how do we look for angle F here? The first thing we need to do is Let's not forget that to solve it directly may not be feasible because, uh, because of some things that may, may look hidden to you. So the only thing you just, the first thing you should do is to redraw this diagram. And draw an imaginary line in between. So this is 60 degrees and this is 80 degrees. And Let's not forget that our angle F has now been split to two parts. Then this is my A and this is my B. This is my C and this is my D. So as we split it to two parts, the first thing we have to do is to find our A and our B. Now that we have we've divided an imaginary, we've given it um, an imaginary line in between, then what do we observe? What do we notice? I've noticed now that B and A are automatically alternate angles. So I can say B equals 80 degrees. Reason, alternate angles. Then also my A equals 60 degrees. Reason, alternate angles. Please, how do we recognize alternate angles? Number one, it's always formed like a kind of Z shape. It forms a kind of Z shape. So if this is the Z shape, and this is 80, then automatically the opposite is going to be what you say in front, which is B. And also, if this one too is a Z shape, what you find here, the inverse, as in the alternate rather, or the opposite will be at the other side. So the question now says, find the value of F. Let's not forget that. So F equals A plus B. So my A is 60 degrees plus my B is 80 degrees. Then I have what? 140 degrees as my answer. This is the um, first, me first method. And I can also use another way, another method. What I just need to do is to extend this also. Then once I extend this, I will say method two. Make sure you form this and let it be a straight line in line with, together with this one too. So I can say 80, Plus, let's give you some Q. Plus Q equals 180 degrees. Reason, angles on a straight line. So we have Q equals 180 degrees minus 80 degrees. Then my Q equals 100 degrees. So here is 100 degrees. Now, how do we get, how do we find our B? As you can see that there is a line, see this imaginary line and see this line that cuts across with this. It is forming something like a letter C shape for me. It, it depends, it doesn't have to be a real C. It depends on how it bends. What matters the most is so far they are enclosed, two angles are enclosed interior, as in they are inside the angles interior and there is a line that, that what, that covers it this way. Then I'm going to make use of what? interior angles on A transversal. So now that I've seen B and my Q is 100, I can as well say that what? That B plus 100 equals 180 degrees. Reason, interior angles on A transversal. So my B equals 180 degrees minus 100, my B equals 80 Degrees. So here becomes 80 degrees, right? Then how do we get my A? My A, well, as you can see, once I extend this, let me give this one um, um, T. So I can say this is 60 plus T equals 
180 degrees. Please let's not forget that it has formed a straight line and it will end up to be what? Angles on a straight line. So T equals 180 degrees minus 60 degrees and my T is 120 degrees. So if T is 120 degrees and how do we get our A? Automatically, we are going to use what is called interior angles on A transversal. So, interior angles on A transversal. So, which means I will say 120 degrees, which is my new T that I found, plus A equals 180 degrees. Reason? Interior angles on A transversal. So, my A equals 180 degrees minus 120 degrees and my a equals 60 degrees so this is my 60 degrees then at the end of the day i will say the question says find the value of f my f will now be a plus b f equals a plus b and my a is 60 degrees plus my b what's my b my b is um 80 degrees and if i add them together it gives me 140 degrees and that is my answer I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.